The attack was timed to coincide with a weekly meeting of the Provincial Council. There was at least one car bomb and a suicide bomber just outside the walls of the provincial government compound. After the gunmen took hostages, Iraqi special forces stormed the building. They say they killed three of the attackers and defused a suicide vest. A fourth attacker was wounded and arrested. Sources say the council had been warned there would be an attack and most officials didn't show up. This official says it could have been a lot worse. In fact, the intentions of the terrorists to storm the building of our provincial council were doomed to failure. The operation targeted the provincial council by detonating a suicide car bomb and sending five suicide bombers carrying weapons fitted with silencers. Lawmakers, though, have called for an investigation to find out how this could have happened. No one has claimed responsibility for the attacks, but it's similar to other attacks claimed by al-Qaeda in Iraq. And like the other attacks, this one demonstrates that even Iraq's most heavily guarded government buildings are at risk. Jane Araf, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.